Now that you are in your Invoice Gateway account, you will want to add a payment method so that you can begin utilizing our service to pay your invoices. To get started, click on the Settings tab. When the Settings tab opens up, click on the Payment Settings link on the left side menu. Once in the Payment Settings, you will see the ability to review your payment accounts and your payment options. We are going to focus on the payment accounts first. Below the table, you will see two buttons, Add Bank Account and Add Credit Card. This allows you to set up the payment methods you would like to use to make your payments. Let's click on Add Bank Account and get started. You'll want to have one of your checks handy so that you can correctly enter your banking information. After I've clicked the Add Bank Account button, I am taken to the Add Bank Account workflow. The first thing I can do is to change the friendly name on my account to something different, but by default, we will set it to My Bank Account. I will then fill out the remaining fields with the information from the check I have in front of me. When I click into each of the fields, I will get a pop-up on the right-hand side of the screen giving me more information about what is being looked for in these fields. For the routing number and account number fields, we will provide you with a sample check with the fields labeled so you can be certain that you are entering the correct information. Once the form is filled out, you will need to assign the payment method to at least one group on your account. If we were setting up a new group, we could do that from this screen with the Add Group button on the right. At this time, we only have the default group set up, so we will make that our selection. We will cover adding groups in a later video. Now that your form is completed, just click on Save and your bank account is all set up. You can now start using this bank account to make payments to your invoices in your Invoice Gateway account. After my payment method is saved, I can click onto Payment Options to determine how I would like paid invoices to be handled. By default, we will automatically close any documents that are paid in full. If, for some reason, I would like to keep them open and manually move them to the closed page, I can just unclick the checkbox. Once I do this, my decision is automatically saved, but I can come back here at any time to change the setting. Now that we have a payment method set up, it's time to make a payment. Let's return to our open invoices by clicking on the Open tab. Click on the checkboxes next to the invoices you wish to pay. You can pay invoices one at a time or multiple invoices at once. Once you have selected the checkboxes, click on the Pay Invoices button next to the Total Balance field at the top of the page. You are now in the Payments workflow. By completing this flow, you will make payments towards your selected invoices. The first page you are brought to in the flow is the Payment Details page. On this page, you can choose the payment account you would like to use to make your payment and the date you would like to apply the payment. If I'm going to use my bank account to make a payment, it is important to note that payments made after 3 p.m. Eastern Time will be scheduled for the next business day, unless a different date is chosen. Once I've selected my payment account and date, I can review the information on the invoice and enter the amount I would like to pay in the Payment Amount field at the far right of the screen. By default, we will populate the open balance in this field. If you choose to pay an amount different from what you currently owe, whether it's an underpayment or an overpayment, you will get a pop-up window that will prompt you to supply a reason why you are paying how you are paying. Click on the arrow underneath the Reason field and choose the reason for your payment. After you have completed the form, click on Save. Once you have completed the Payment Details page, which may include the pop-up, click on the Next button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. This brings you to the Authorization screen. On this page, you have the chance to make sure that all the entered information is correct. If your payment amount, payment account, or payment date are incorrect, click on the Back button to go back to the Payment Details screen to make changes. If everything is correct, click the Authorize button in the bottom right. Once you click the Authorize button, you reach the confirmation page, and your payment has been submitted. You can print a copy of your confirmation for your records, or just click the Done button to return to the Open tab. If, for some reason, you need to cancel a future payment, 
This can be accomplished on the Payment History tab. Navigating to the Payment History tab, you will see all of your completed and pending payments. Any payment that has a status of Scheduled will have Modify and Cancel available underneath the Action column. The Modify link allows you to cancel out part of a transaction where you paid multiple invoices. If you wish to cancel the payment outright, click on the Cancel link.